We expect to hear from Governor Abbott tomorrow afternoon about the discovery of smuggled migrants found dead in an 18-wheeler. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. It's unclear if the governor will explain how that truck got across the border and if the illegal border crossers were in the truck prior to crossing over. In total, 51 people are now dead. We're learning new details about the 18-wheeler that carried them. Turns out smugglers may have been using a technique where this smuggling truck masks as a legitimate freight truck. Fox 4's Stephen Dye, live tonight with a story. Stephen. Steve, as you mentioned, the death toll rose today involving dozens of migrants that died in a hot trailer in San Antonio. And tonight I spoke to a company who says that they are victim to what's being called truck cloning. An abandoned 18 wheeler in San Antonio was noticed by a city worker Monday evening when they heard a cry for help. Inside, a horrible discovery, and now 51 undocumented migrants are dead in what's likely the deadliest tragedy involving migrants smuggled across the border from Mexico. The driver of the truck and two others were arrested, according to Congressman Henry Cuellar, who represents the area. Department of Transportation numbers on the side of the truck link it to a small company in the Rio Grande Valley. But the company says the driver is not one of its employees. The owner's son tells Fox 4 over the phone the truck isn't theirs either. We had nothing to do with that tragedy. Felipe Betancourt Jr. didn't want his face shown. His father owns Betancourt Trucking and Harvesting. He says the truck is the victim of truck cloning. That's when someone else, usually a smuggler, steals DOT numbers in order to skirt law enforcement. It angers me that somebody did this to those people, you know, and it angers me that I got in, they, they, they got me involved in, in this, you know. Bethancourt shared this picture with Fox 4 of their actual truck with the same numbers on the side, but he says it's not in San Antonio. It's been running green, loads of green, all week since last Friday. We have, we, we can, I'm pretty sure we can get video of my truck going in and out of the unloading location. Bethancourt says his company owns refrigerated trucks, but this one where the migrants were found did not have any working AC. Temperatures were in the triple digits. The victims inside that truck didn't have access to water, and many of the surviving victims suffered from extreme dehydration and heat stroke. And while Bethancourt tells Fox 4 he doesn't know anyone personally who's fallen victim to truck cloning, it's not uncommon. Last August, Homeland Security took a driver and 10 migrants into custody in Arizona. They were inside a cloned Border Patrol vehicle. The driver wore a fake uniform. As for the investigation, we know the victims came from Mexico, Guatemala, and Honduras. The medical examiner will work to fully determine the cause of death, and authorities will work to identify the victims. Officials say it was hard to identify ages, but they believe some of the victims are teens. Some of them are under the age of 18, but we have to ask you to understand that what we have in materials there to try and identify the individuals cannot be at this time perfectly matched to the individuals. A similar incident happened back in 2017 in San Antonio when 10 migrants died in a vehicle at a Walmart parking lot. Also, the owner of the company stressed to me that no law enforcement agency has reached out to them, but they said media was contacting them and they wanted to get out in front of this and say that they had nothing to do with that tragedy.